Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here. It is time for some more SC2 commentary. Today we'll be looking at a game between FXO Unstable and Dignitas Show. Spawning in the lower right-hand spawn location, our blue Terran player is Show, and then over here in the upper left-hand position, the red Protoss player is Unstable. Now we are on the map, One Must Fall, and if you've never seen this map before, let's go ahead and take a quick look around it. A little bit of space there behind that main resource line, definitely something you will want to keep an eye on. Uh, the ramp leading out to that natural expansion, there you go, and then just above that there's a choke point leading into the natural. You go up into the left and up a ramp, there's an expansion right over here. Now there is also a ramp leading into that from the other side, so that is something you would want to keep an eye on just in case your opponent tries to hit you from that position. Going back past the natural and up into the right, you're going to see an expansion right there near the center of the map. Now there is some destructible rocks uh, right in front of that, so you're going to want to make sure that you know when and if your opponent does break that down, if you do happen to be expanded into this position. And then to the right of that, all the way tucked in the corner, there is a lower expansion, and then just above that, the final expansion position on this half of the map and then of course all of that is mirrored on the other half of the map for the opposing player and then the last few notable things we've got the two Zell Naga Towers in the center of the map one here and one here and then once more those destructible rocks right over there so there you go guys that is a uh, quick little showing of the map one must fall and let's see how the uh, how each player decides to utilize the terrain and all of that's to their advantage in this particular game. I don't know what I'm saying. Who really cares? So, Pro moving on into the main base right now of Show, And with this, he's going to scout that this will be a one rax expand. And seeing no refinery yet. Uh, looks like he's appearing to, uh, attempting to do a little bit of harass. However, Show is on top of the uh, SCV engagements to make sure that that probe doesn't get a shot off without taking damage himself. Trying still to... Uh, Get some damage down on these SCVs, but being so far fairly unsuccessful. Weaving his way back and forth between all those SCVs and now just chilling out. And now he's going to be a goner in just one moment as that first Marine is just about to pop. And we get that SCV now moving down, likely to be for the Scout or Expansion. Yeah, this is going to be for the Expansion. Just pulling down a little bit early. You can see it's going to be another moment or two until he has the resources to actually be able to get that Expansion. Marine trying to engage the probe. The probe is gone. It's just really a matter of time. Taking a look back over here in the main base of Unstable. Only one gas right now. He's got a Cyber Core coming through. So he's probably going to be going at one gate Expand himself as he pulls on down with that probe. The probe over here. Yes, he got taken care of. One kill for that Marine. So that is one dead probe, and now the Marines move on down to guard that natural expansion. But again, it's really nothing to, uh, uh, you know, un Unstable is clearly aware of that expansion. He doesn't even need to scout it to know it's coming. Seeing the fact that there was no gas still for as long as he was in there uh, lets him know that, yes, there is indeed an expansion coming out. And we can see that bunker coming out for show as he will be using this to protect himself against any early game zealot and or stalker harass. Uh, this is really what he's going to need to effectively deal with that. So he should be all set and tucked away here. Uh, looks like Unstable won't even be attempting that, though, as he's going straight into the sentry. No stalker, not even a single zealot. Uh, just going right into sentry action, so he does not plan to push out. The sentry would not be the greatest unit to push out with. Stalker's pretty good because of the speed and the range advantage over the marine, but the sentry isn't really the greatest for that. SCV Scout now pulling out. We're stopping by that tower. And then he will be heading on up to that natural expansion. You can see where he is set to go, uh, right into the main. Now, the question is, will the sentry stop him from doing that? If he can drop a force field and prevent the scout, that'd certainly be a good thing. But on the other hand, maybe he doesn't want to waste that energy. So in moving down and engaging that SCV, SCV's pulling on up. Doesn't land the force field in time, so the SCV does make it right on into the main. And he's going to get a nice scout here. He sees the three gateways. He saw the expansion. So now at least he knows there's no robo in play, at least as of this moment. Pro moving in for secondary scouting, and he's going to get it. Actually, is he planning aggression? Yes, he is. Already dropping a pylon, pulling out with those SCVs, now, uh, pulling out with those sentries. Now, going sentry first allows him to accumulate energy to drop some force fields, and if he comes down with a few zealots and some stalkers, he should be able to bust through this. But notably, we can see that there is marine pressure coming out at the exact same time. We get a whole group of marines pushing across the map at the same time as those sentries. Uh, Pro moving on down. He's engaged with those marines, and here comes the marine push. Oh, grabbing one sentry, and these marines are going to be able to go to town. I refuse Zelty to make this a little more difficult. So, uh, unfortunately, now Unstable's counter aggression is either going to be delayed or just really not effective at all. Marines trying to micro away from those Zelts and some nice target firing. Imagine do a lot of damage. Uh, really, unfortunately, he's up against it right now. Oh no, target fire is down. One more Zelt and some more micro. This is a very nice showing here from Show. 
Ha ha ha, get it? Nice showing from Show as he's able to tear through the rest of those zealots. Unfortunately, down to four marines and realizing that another warp is about to come, decides just to pull back. Those two sentries and the stalker would quite easily take care of those few marines. Now we still do have these two sentries down here. Not sure if Unstable is going to even bother anymore. Again, he's really no longer in the position to be able to effectively attack. Uh, that was a beautifully timed there by Show, basically making it so that Unstable's attempted attack is a failure. He wasn't able to do anything with that. It does look like he will still attempt to push out with this though as he's got a few more sentries and a zealot coming in over here. We got the stalker and two sentries moving on down from this position. He has grabbed this tower so he would see if any additional uh, enforcements were coming here from show and as we can see that is not the case and wow moving on over here is he gonna try to get another expo this fast? I think he's gonna plan on doing something very soon but first here comes the push. Zealot sentries and a stalker moving on in. You can see right now Unstable is a little bit behind, dropping the force fields now, uh, trying to trap those marines and actually stop the SCVs from repairing that bunker. Guardian Shield helping a lot with the SCVs moving down to engage and no more zealots, he's really at a loss. We got a few more zealots coming in to try to provide a little bit of a buffer against those marines plus those sentries pulling down. Zealots buying time for the sentries to work through those SCVs and that is a lot of SCV kills early on in the game. He's got eight already, that mule about to drop and see a later mule. That was a fairly decent engagement. Let's take a look at those resources lost. They're about even. Unstable still a little bit behind, but look at that. Eight workers killed. Certainly will take it. A few more zealots coming in, and Unstable is not done. Now, with no bunker, he's feeling like he can still do a bit of damage. However, there are a ton of Marines. We got a medevac also coming out. Stim pack coming through. Combat shield is almost done. The more time goes on, Unstable is going to be in a rough position now. He is just trying to buy time right now for his expansion. Let that get up, take advantage of those extra resources, and prevent Show from uh, doing too much damage to him. So that's essentially why he's chilling out right here, just trying to buy himself some time. A few more Zealots get warped in. He's actually making his way back on home. Now we've got two medevacs in play. Marines with combat shield. Stim pack's about to come out. Very likely going to see some attempted drop harass here. Stim Marine drops can be very effective, tearing through worker lines even breaking down pylons or production buildings or tech or anything like that. We've got a few more gateways coming out. Also that blank research is coming on through. Didn't even realize there was a Twilight Council, but there it is. Twilight Council is in play. We will be seeing some blank stalkers. Now here comes the dropping now from Show as he's attempting to retaliate here. He does know that he took a fair amount of damage in losing those workers there and he wants to make sure that he can try to get himself back in the game and here it goes. The force is unstable, incredibly out of position as the drop makes its way to the back of the resource line. That's going to force Unstable to pull all those guys off of their gathering. He doesn't want to lose those probes. Rather, just pull back, let those Marines do some damage to these buildings, and then come back down with reinforcements. Bunch of Stalkers pulling forward. Not enough, though, as those stimmed up Marines moving on down, taking out one. Here goes a second. Just out of range, manages to drop it just as he's sneaking away. However, now that there are sentries and zealots in play, Show is forced to pull back. Got another uh, another task force over here. Show could hit that expansion. I guess he doesn't know about it though. He could hit the natural. I don't know. Dropping the Marines out of the medevacs, healing them up. Back over here, gonna be sticking to that bio. Marine Marauder medevac is what we'll be seeing. Armory coming out for some additional upgrades. We got two medevacs pulling on over here. Doesn't know about that expansion. Yeah, he's gonna take a couple shots there from the stalkers. He now knows about the expansion. Medevac takes a bit of damage. Still got those two over here. Yes, he's going to do it. Two-pronged attack. We'll be dropping now in the main. Oh, walks by some stalkers. Thinks that's a little scary. Decides to pull back. Get some zealots coming in. This is not the best situation for show. Blank stalker moving under. Drops one medevac. We'll be trying to get a second stim, but Marines tearing through those stalkers. Just barely misses getting that medevac. It's going to force him to come with some more units. We'll also got this drop over here from show. Multi-pronged attack being very, very effective here. We do have blank stalkers in play, but... Uh, even with that mobility, this drop from multiple angles here from show being very effective. This drop gets taken care of. Still got these Marines over here. That medevac has gone in a half a second. There it is. And now finally the Stalkers are building off with the rest of Marines trying to get a few more kills, killing off a few workers, and all sorts of fun stuff. Finally takes care of the drop, but not before taking some pretty hefty damage. Let's take a look there. Now unstable, very far behind. He's still just on gateway tech. Now he's going to have Blink Stalker and Charge Zealot, but I would like to see some uh, High Templar and or Colossus or Archons or something like that. Also want to take a look at the Workers Lost, and with that dropping, Show's really got himself ahead. Some Force Field Walls. Show just lifts off. He's like, hey, there's not a lot of anti-air here yet. I'll just lift off and pull back to the other side of the Force Fields, and LOL in your face. Very nice micro there by Show. But yes, look at that Show with his drops. Uh, both of them hitting from multiple directions, able to kill off now a total of 23 workers, and all of a sudden Unstable is really in a rough position. 
He's going to be pushing out right now. Charge Zealot and Blink Stalkers is what he has. A few SCVs pulling down to engage. Not sure what they're doing all the way over here. Uh, I think he's what trying to go for an all-in. That's, of course, the assumption. I got a, a few more Charge Zealots being warped in here. And again, I'm really concerned that Unstable is not bothering to go with High Templar or Colossus tech. That's certainly an, pretty necessary against a Terran player going to Mass Bio. You need more than just these Gateway units. Yes, High Templar are considered Gateway units, but you know what I mean. The splash damage from the Archon and the Charge Zealots. Watch as his Bio just tears through this like wave after wave. He's just ripping through the workers right now. We got some Charge Zealots moving down, a little bit of Micro, helping keep these units alive a bit longer. All the Medivacs out of energy now, so not much healing coming still, but look at that. Concussive Shell, Stimpak, Micro. This is ridiculous show being so effective here and again without the splash damage without colossus without high templar man oh man protoss gonna have a hard time unstable still taking massive amounts of damage show continues up this push and he might very well drop this expansion i am not sure what unstable is thinking here but he is really in a bad position gonna be warping in some more units but it is ridiculous that show has been here for this long he continues to do damage Continues to micro like a boss. More charge zelts finally warped in, and I think at last he's going to be able to stave this off. But no, here comes some more reinforcements, and still, show is here doing damage. This is just getting silly right now. He also killed off a bunch more workers now with a total of 44. Now we saw. Okay, okay, I was like, where did all those worker kills for, come from? All those extra worker kills for Unstable. You know, he was at 8, now he's at 27. It was from all those SCVs that were in the center of the map. I'm just taking a look over here, and I'm trying to figure out. It doesn't look like any damage was done over here. I don't see any injured SCVs. I would figure, yes, okay, maybe he took a drop, and I just don't see it anymore. But there would typically be injured SCVs or buildings if there was a drop or harass that took place, and there isn't any of that. So... All those extra SCB kills for Unstable came from that engagement in the middle. He's just been busy defending himself. Finally dropping some force field walls, allowing him to defend himself a little bit better. He's now finally transitioning into Templar Archives, and heck, it's about time. I really don't know why he's been waiting this long, but he's going to finally be able to come out. With, I would assume Archons immediately, eventually some High Templar once he has that research, uh, Psionic Storm research. But because the, the, because that lack of splash damage shows, just been able to consistently be aggressive this entire game. Finally, thank you. My gosh, that took long enough. <laughs> We've got a third coming out right now. First show, he continues to macro up. He's got a Ghost Academy also coming out. Uh, he has 2-2 right now for upgrades. We'd really like to see him work up into 3-3. I hate when observers ping on these games and then I end up seeing them when I commentate. So frustrating. Finally, with the Archons, he's able to push out and be aggressive. We do also finally have some Psionic Storm research coming out. Moving out, gonna finally be able to get some splash damage on those clumped up bio units with that Archon. The one thing you need to be careful of, of course, is accidentally trampling over your own force fields. That can be a frustrating situation. Drop over here from show in the main. Do some more damage, killing off more workers. Now up to 51, that number's going to keep climbing. Charge Zealots moving down to meet those Marauders. A couple of Blink Stalkers also pulling down. They're going to straight for that medevac. Blink underneath it. What are you doing? There you go. Blink underneath it. Very close. Ah, just barely misses it. It's an extra Marauder kill, though, as uh, Show drops it to provide a little bit of a distraction. Factory Scout chilling out over here. This is going to see when and if any pushes come. Unstable preparing for a counterattack as he drops a pylon very close to the third. Now, does he know about the third? That's going to be my question right now. Yes, he does. He knows about that third. He is aware of it. Medivac does get taken out over here. Don't know how that happened. I think he must have just tried to move back in. The bio numbers keep growing and growing here. Now, we, do, we don't have any ghosts yet. Uh, he is coming out with that Mobius reactor. That's that extra energy for those ghosts. He should have been building some to finish right when that finishes, though. I don't know why he... He's actually delaying it so much. Finally coming out with some ghosts. Gonna be a little bit late. And here we go. Charge Zealots, Archons, High Templar, all sorts of fun stuff right now. Moving out for Unstable as he really does realize, hey, man, I'm behind. I should probably do some damage. Yeah, good idea there, Unstable. Try to get yourself back in this game. Really kills me that he waited as long as he did to get those Archons and or High Templar. Fourth base coming out over here for Unstable. Let's see if he's gonna be able to even... Uh, Maintain this push. He's going to actually be pushing against the third. That can be very effective. Just chills out with one zealot in there. Pulls back with the rest of his forces. Massive storm. Show. Not mic growing. What the heck just happened? Show did not mic grow. Took massive damage from the storm. And all of a sudden, unstable. Get himself back in this game. That zealot over there going to town. What is happening right now? 
I have got no idea why Show did not micro away from that storm. Was there a force field wall behind him? Did I miss that? Ah, uh, man. Now, Show, you know, he won. Look, he's got more units left, and but he took way more damage than he should have there. And uh, that was actually really scary. Also losing a ton of workers as one zealot just ran rampant over here. I don't think there were any other drops or anything going on. I checked his vision. I didn't see anything. That was a ridiculous show. Oh, man. I'm not going to say he's lost the game there, but that that was just uh, very unnecessary. And, and show would clearly be uh, much more ahead than maybe he is now uh, had that not happened. Zealots, goners, concussive shell. You can't run from me, says the marauder. As he uh, stims up and chases him down. It says, see you later. And kill number one for that marauder. What a joyous day for him. Uh, th level three weapons upgrades finally coming out. Now we do have Ghost in play three to be precise. One more coming out. Some more Archon action coming on through here for Unstable. Unstable does have this expo up and uh, nicely saturated. Also chilling out with one photon cannon just because why not? Three more gateways coming out. He's going to continue to stick here. Charge Zealots, Archon, High Templar. Throw some sentries in the mix too. That's going to be his composition of choice here. Push coming out from Show. He's going to make his way up into that expansion. Now fully aware that that is there. Sniping down some of those High Templar. That is beautiful ghost action there. The High Templar still back. Unfortunately, not enough energy to drop a storm. Small little group of bio here going to be engaging. Nice feedback there on the medevac, getting it very low as he tries to spread out his forces there to prevent EMPs from being too effective. And now he's chasing him down. He says, come here, show. Let me show you some Archons. Oh, that's a funny joke. Stimming up, though, repelling back, unstable, uh, making sure he really wants to try to fight in a choke position, if at all possible. He doesn't want to be in a choke position, but he wants to get show in this choke to lay storms down and just laugh at him. If he can. At the same time, too, it is good for show if Unstable walks up here because he can just land some EMP blankets on all those units. Uh, so either way, neither player wants to be in the choke, but they want their opponent to be in the choke. It's not the name of the game there when you're dealing with splash damage. Some upgrades coming on through. This is going to be the two, two upgrades here for Unstable. That's another thing to uh, keep in mind here throughout the course of this game and these engagements is that Unstable has been behind in terms of upgrades. Uh, we've got weapons level 3 and already armor level 2 while uh, Unstable is still just 1-1 one, one, waiting on those 2-2 two, two upgrades to complete. Show chilling out over here. We'll be moving down with a few ghosts hitting up that expansion. Lands a massive snipe. You aren't seeing some feedbacks. That's what you need to do there. Land some feedbacks to repel those snipes and EMPs. Charge Zealots moving down. Archon moving up to deal some splash damage. Here come the storms in just a minute. Zealots moving from the backside. Where'd those storms go? Haven't landed them yet. There's a storm right on top of the bio. Show walking into it. The feedbacks on those medevacs. Blink Stalkers taking out the rest of the medevacs. Another storm pulling back the rest of the forces. And uh, really pretty awesome there. Unstable able to still defend and maintain this fourth expansion. Show just mining over here with mules. He does not have a lot of SCVs over there at all. And he's also not coming out with another expansion. Still no still no expansion coming out for him. He's just kind of chilling out over here at the moment. Lands an EMP. Doesn't hit a thing. Uh, I'm a little perplexed right now, guys. Just a wee bit. Uh, more Marines and a ton of ghosts coming out. Would really, really like to see another expansion. He has pulled over some SCVs there from that main and natural resource line to get some saturation. Wouldn't hurt him to get a fourth, especially since he's known about Unstable's fourth for a while. Should be considering, man, I should probably get one. Although he's been so busy just continuing to pump out units just to try to defend himself. Factory Scout pulling forward. And Unstable really is all of a sudden starting to seem in, like he's in a decent position for being so far behind. I can't believe that he's really still in this game, but he is. In fact, he's he's not necessarily out of it. Show, I'm really concerned for him not having a fourth right now. I really am. And he seems to be, you know, really, really low on those resources, which is good. That means macroing up pretty hard. And since he's not supply cap, that can be the case. Another thing to keep in mind, too, is that this hasn't been like a 200 versus 200 army clashing battle of the Titans in the center of the map. This has been a pretty relentless game so far, back and forth and back and forth. And uh, Show has been consistently losing units, as has Stable. But in the process of rebuilding that, maybe just decided he didn't need a third or felt it was too risky to take a third or decided to dump his resources into being aggressive, assuming that he would take this out. Whatever his decision making, it's clearly not going exactly as planned. We do have a huge mass of ghosts, though, 14 ghosts. Got a bunch of zealots moving on down here. We'll be killing off a ton of SCVs. Unstable moving from the backside as well with that force. He's got a ton of charged zealots over there. He's going to try for a sandwich move here. 
Archon's pulling forward. Oh my gosh. Got some nice EMPs, but he just lost almost all of his ghosts. Pushing back from the other side as well. Big storm on the remaining bio. We got a few stalkers over here. Nice feedbacks there in the medivacs and show losing everything in the center of the map. Also losing this expansion. And the Zelts push on into the natural, and my friends, that might be the end of the game. Show calls the GG. What a turn of events. Show seemed so clearly far ahead for majority of this game. However, this engagement right here seemed to have marked the beginning of the end. Show takes massive storm damage and actually allows his opponent unstable to get himself back in the game. All right, guys, that was the one and only game here between a show and Unstable. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, really disappointed in show just because he seemed to have such an advantage. And the fact, I mean, you know, hats off and kudos to Stable for clawing his way back in that game. But uh, he seemed too far behind to actually have a chance to win. And really unbelievable that he came back there. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Keep watching and keep owning.